The more information a Civil 3D model contains, the more value it provides at all stages of a project lifecycle. Now, typically, Civil 3D data might be thought of as the attribution associated with civil objects, or maybe user-defined properties, or property set data. Fortunately, Civil 3D can manage more than just attribution. You see, each entity in a Civil 3D model can reference virtually unlimited files and documentation. In this session, we'll explore a concept called reference documents. On my screen is a drawing that represents a small site plan. The property boundary for this project was defined as a parcel. If I select the parcel label, we can see the geometry highlight on screen. Typically, boundaries like this are created as a result of research performed by a professional land surveyor. To delineate this boundary, the surveyor may have referenced recorded deeds, plats, and legal descriptions. Wouldn't it be nice if after completing that research, the supporting documentation could be attached to this boundary? Well, this is possible, and I've already done it. After selecting the boundary, I'm going to visit the Properties palette. Most of the time when reviewing properties, we work off the Design tab. Today, I'm going to select the Extended Data tab. When I do, we'll see an area called Documentation. These properties represent the documentation associated with a selected object. As you can see, there are three reference documents. If I click in the field, I can see that this parcel references a recorded deed, a legal description, and a plat of subdivision. I'm going to double-click to open the deed, which allows me to review the document on screen. Let's close this, and I'll open the legal description. And finally, we'll open the plat of subdivision. Down here at the south end, we'll find the Lot 2 boundary delineated in my Civil 3D model. When I'm finished reviewing the plant, I'll close Acrobat Reader and return to the Reference Documents dialog box. Now, a couple quick notes. In this example, all my referenced files are PDFs. They don't have to be. Using this feature, you can reference virtually any file. Also in this example, I've associated these files with a parcel. That said, documentation can be associated with virtually any selected object or objects. All right, now that we know how the feature works, let's close this dialog box and we'll learn how to create the references. I'm going to zoom in and center the drawing on this proposed tree. If I hover, we can see this is a block. Now, in addition to having this tree symbol, I'd also like to attach some documentation that further describes this tree and its installation. I'll do that by selecting the block, and in the Properties palette, I'll make sure the Extended Data tab is selected, and I'll click to select the Reference Documents property. I will then click the Add button and navigate the hard drive to select my desired reference file. I'm going to start with this image, and I'll click Open. Once the file is referenced, I can click in the Description column to provide an optional description. I'm going to leave this blank for now, and I'll click to add another reference. I'll choose the PDF this time and click Open. Let's get one more. I'll click Add, and I'll choose the Word document and click Open. When I'm finished, I'll click OK. And that's it. My selected documents are now associated with this tree block. From now on, I can select the symbol, and from the Properties palette, I can easily review the documentation. As an example, I'll double-click to open the image. And then I'll close this. I'll double-click to review the planting detail. Note that if you right-click on a reference, you can open it from here as well. After reviewing the Word document, I'll close it. If you'll indulge me, I'll bring up the right-click menu one more time. The Edit option is used to select a new reference file. Remove is pretty self-explanatory. Note there's also a Remove option on the right side of the dialog box. For now, we'll wrap up by closing this and returning once again to the drawing. When you get a chance, consider how the Reference Documents feature might apply to some of your projects. Just imagine how valuable your Civil 3D models could be if they gave you direct access to the supporting documentation for every object in a design. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.